Only a few days after Joe Biden gave his nefarious speech calling his political opponents fascists and a threat to the country, the predictable, inevitable outcome has taken place. A radicalized Democrat decided to run over and murder a Republican teenager for, in his words, being an extremist. This latest example of Democrat Party political violence is just the most recent in a long line of attacks that, like this one, go largely unreported by the media. Why? Well, there's many reasons, but above all, because they're the ones who radicalized him. If they did make this a major news story, that question would have to be asked. And the answer would require some self-awareness, which we know is extremely rare on the current American left. They've spent years demonizing Republicans, conservatives, Christians, white people, and generally anybody who opposes them as everything from racist, white supremacist, terrorist, domestic enemies, and now fascists by the freaking president of the United States. It doesn't take a psychic to see that will result in extremists in the Democrat party feeling that they're justified in taking actions against their political opponents, which if we're being honest is obviously the point. Let's just go down the list of all the left-wing Democrat party political violence that's gone largely ignored by the media. I'm gonna go off on the media, but first check out this free coin offer from unitedwestandcoin.com. Here's a fact for you. Florida is reigniting debate after it rolled out don't tread on me license plates earlier this month. Drivers in the Sunshine State can now order don't tread on me license plates, complete with the yellow and black image of the Gadsden flag from the Revolutionary War. This is a proud moment for patriots across the country, but what about the rest of us in the other 49 states? Listen closely because I'm going to reveal a new way to showcase don't tread on me without a license plate. The new version of the don't tread on me flag is the United We Stand gold challenge coin. It doubles as a gift worthy collectible that'll last for generations. Try, review, and inspect the United We Stand coin with your own hands risk-free for 60 days simply by going to www.unitedwestandcoin.com or by just clicking the link in the description or pinned comment. It's free. Just cover the shipping. But this is time sensitive, so hurry. After entering your details, you'll receive your United We Stand coin to your doorstep in just a few short days. If we just start at 2015, we have BLM supporters ambushing cops. You have various mob attacks on Republicans, sometimes even facilitated by the local Democrat government. We had the GOP baseball game shooting by a crazed Democrat who was openly looking for Republicans to shoot as he screamed, this is for health care. Gee, I wonder where he got that. The FBI did its part to downplay this attack, trying to call it suicide by cop at first until years later, very quietly admitting that, yeah, it was domestic terrorism. There were years worth of Antifa BLM related attacks and murders between 2017 and 2020. Racial attacks against white people that occurred during the same time as heated media rhetoric. The attempted assassination of a conservative Supreme Court justice. The attacks on pro-life centers. Left-wingers ramming their cars into groups of pro-trucker protesters. The attack on the White House by Democrat mobs in 2020. There's a lot and I'm sure that I'm missing some things, but it all gets ignored and let to fall down the memory hole in favor of propaganda that insists the real threat are right-wingers. Certainly these things have not been given the attention that they would have if if it had happened the other way. And we do know that for a fact. Just look at Charlottesville for your proof. We still endlessly hear about that from the media, even though there's been dozens of left-wing attacks since. And we now have even more proof of that, with FBI whistleblowers claiming that the FBI purposely misled the country when claiming right-wing terrorism to be the biggest threat in the country. The perfect pretext to crack down on the Democrat Party's political opponents, who also just happen to be the party in control of the country. Folks, <laughs> <laughs> That's authoritarianism. Now, to add insult to injury and really just do their best to piss people off, the Democrat who just admitted to murdering a Republican teenager over a political disagreement has been released on bond. Now, this really pisses me off to no end. That's right. The guy who's now being charged with criminal vehicular homicide, a felony, and being responsible for an accident causing death, although I'm not sure how you can both be charged with homicide and an accident, but none of this makes sense anyway. But yeah, 
that guy has now been released back out into the public. One can only deduce that this is exactly what Biden, Democrats, and the media wanted him to do. Which makes it even more perplexing because the Attorney General of North Dakota is supposedly a conservative. Lastly, check out what's happening on Twitter right now. Every time I make a post calling out these parties for inciting and radicalizing this attacker, I get this warning. Apparently, it's no longer okay and will be considered harassment if you call these people out. It's really starting to look very authoritarian around here. And if you listen to this expert on authoritarianism, you should be worried. Do you see Donald Trump as an authoritarian? I, well, I don't, you know, he, if you're authoritarian, you have to have a system in supporting you. You cannot just be authoritarian by yourself. In the United States, with today's uh, condition, you can easily have an authoritarian. In many ways, you're already in the authoritarian state. You just don't know it. How so? Many things happen today in U.S. It can be compared to cultural revol revolution in China. Like what? Like people trying to be unified in certain political correctness. Before you go, I do want to let everyone know there is a GoFundMe going for Kyler Ellingson right now, and I'll drop that link in the description and pinned comment if you would like to donate. Thank you.